Hey, what's up, Facebook? How's everyone doing today? Hopefully, everyone's doing great. Uh, it's, uh, it's a great day. You know, I was uh, watching the Women's World Cup the other day, and I was just thinking about how awesome it was, a uh, great American opportunity to get involved in some stuff. And but it really got me thinking, you know, why do we, why I love sports so much and you know, you guys know there's a ton going on in the NBA right now with people coming and going and leaving. And so why are we so wrapped up in the NBA and the sports? And, uh, you know, I, watching the World Cup, I just got into thinking, you know, there's so many rules, there's goals, there's out of bounds, there's clear positions, roles that people play. And, uh, you know, we just get wrapped up in this fact that there's a clear winner and a loser. And, uh, you know, it's obvious to know when somebody's winning. It's obvious to know someone's losing. You know, you've got the scoreboard. You can even watch different players fatiguing or, uh, you know, needing a rest. And so, you know, it, it got me kind of thinking about ministry and how oftentimes, so often, uh, we don't have a clear win or a loss. And especially when it comes to our volunteers. Years, you know, like as lead pastors, it's you know how was your sermon? How was the altar call? There was, you know, so many things that we we measure. How many people raise their hand for salvation or baptism? And we have these tangible things that we measure. But often for volunteers that are just helping and serving, uh, you know, oftentimes they just kind of go home wondering, you know, did I win? Did I did I win? Did I do what I was supposed to do? And um, you know, I think oftentimes we don't have those clear wins for volunteers. And, you know, when we think about high capacity leaders, high capacity people, which I'm sure we all want, right? Uh, we've got plenty of the people that we probably wish weren't volunteering. But to get those high caliber leaders, those volunteers that are just killing it, um, how are we going to keep those people around? And uh, I think I think the biggest way we do that is to have a clear win um, for them. And if we want to stick, have them stick around, they got to go home knowing, man, I won today. I I clearly won, or man, I was off a little bit today. Um, I, I I need to improve that. And uh, I think high capacity leaders, if we don't define it for them, eventually they're going to define it for themselves, right? Like they're going to define it for themselves because high capacity leaders want to know that they won. And so if we don't define it for themselves, for, for them, they're going to define it for themselves so that they can go home knowing, yes, I, I did this. And so, you know, you know, a, a greeter, you know, is it, uh, man, I kept the door open, right? Or, uh, man, I got everyone into service as quickly as possible, or I mean, I pass out 35 bulletins today, and next week I'm going to pass out 40, right? Like how many bulletins I pass out, or maybe it's how many handshake, you know, hands I shook today, and, you know, and, and they're counting them, and, uh, you know, or nobody slipped today, right? It was raining outside, nobody slipped, I won today. Or, <laughs> you know, I worked at a church, and there was like this older guy, I don't know, probably, you know, I don't know, Russian or something, probably still in the mafia. I don't know. I mean, just um, didn't speak a, a word of English that I know of. I mean, for years, uh, you know, walked through this guy's hand. And I, I felt like his goal, his win for the day was to crush people's hands. And we, we ended up calling him that, uh, the crusher. And uh, he didn't say a word. He just stared at you, and grabbed your hand. And he just slowly applied pressure and crushed your hand. And I, I legitimately felt like that was for him a successful day is if he crushed people's hands. And let me tell you, many times my hands got crushed. <laughs> so I don't think that was really the goal that we as pastors wanted for him uh, was to crush people's hands without even talking to them. But that was what he, you know, apparently self you know, gave himself as a win or maybe your small group leaders, right? Like if you don't define what the win is, you know, maybe that small group leader say, man, I got through all 25 questions that pastor gave us, right? Or maybe it's, man, I talked the whole night and no, finally, finally, nobody interrupted me, right? You know, like that's, I don't think that those are the wins that we're looking for in our small groups. But again, if we don't define them, 
people will begin to define them for themselves because they want to know, did I win? Did I, did I, am I able to hold up the cup, right? Like, did I win? Maybe in small groups, right? You know, you got the one volunteer that's, you know, we're going to get all the kids to sit down and be still, right? And then you got the other, other volunteer that's like, man, we want to make this place fun, loud, exciting, woohoo, right? Uh, you know, you got the guy that's like, no, I'm going to guard this door to make sure that nobody slips out of this room. Like, they're going to define it for themselves or worship, right? Worship, man, this is a gray area. Uh, you know, make sure that I played every note perfectly because I'm going to give my best to the Lord, right? But then the next person says, man, I'm going to flow in the spirit it's, and make a joyful noise to the Lord. It's, it's not about perfection. It's about the presence of God, right? Or maybe you, you know, maybe some of your volunteers are, I just showed up. Like, that's a win. Like, I, I showed up. You should be grateful. I showed up, right? Or, uh, you know, in, in the band room, you know, I was ready every time. Every time I was I was in the band room ready. I didn't go greet anybody. I didn't go see anybody, but I greeted. Hey Blair, how you doing, man? Good to have you. Thanks for joining, me, bro. Uh, you know, or you got the worship guy that says, "Man, I'm gonna greet everybody. I'm gonna make everybody feel good. I might not be a good musician, but I'm gonna greet everybody." Uh, I'm pretty sure it's Jeannie Mayo that that uh, talks about that. We've got to connect people to people and not people to programs, and that uh, people will all leave programs but it's really hard for them to leave people and so as we're creating this volunteer revolution and, and we're really trying to get those high capacity leaders to join in and to, to stay committed we've got to find the win for them right because uh, you know if we don't define the win these guys are going to define the win for themselves and I, I'm almost certain that if we allow them to define it on themselves, they're going to define it in a way that we don't want defined. Uh, and so, you know, for, for us uh, in kids, you know, or student ministries, I always told our leaders, um, you're, you know, you won if you can leave and say, I had one meaningful moment with, a, and you can fill in the blank there, a student, a kid, um, a parent, no, but I had one meaningful moment with blank, and uh, you know, I could go home feeling like I won. Um, you know, as a as a small group leader, you know, we our our big thing we were chasing after was for every student to be known, cared for, held accountable, and encouraged in their spiritual journey. Right, like those are the four things we were going after. But that's like big. That's I mean, that's like long term. You know, that's 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 out there, right? So. So how do I go home every Wednesday night or Sunday night, whenever your small groups might be? And as a small group leader, how do I know if I won, right? Like, because again, I want to know if I won. You know, I don't want to play the game and just wonder, like, oh, man, I, I'm giving up my time. I'm giving up all this time. I don't know if I'm winning. So how do I know? Well, did I have a meaningful moment with one of my students or with one of their parents? Um, and did I really make have a moment where we talked about their spiritual journey or we talked about um, just getting to know their story a little bit better? Um, did I have that one meaningful moment, that interaction, right? Because it's long-term, those big goals, known, cared for, held accountable, encouraged the spiritual journey. These are really long-term things. And so how do I know like tonight, this Wednesday, uh, this Sunday night, did I win? I can measure that, right? Um, because if it's just the World Cup, right? Oh, man, the, the goal is just to win the World Cup. Well, no, when we look at sports, what do they talk about? It's about the next game. It's about the next game. Well, what do you, you know, they talk about, you know, in the finals? It's like, well, are you ready for the finals? And they're like, no, it's just about the next game. Like, we're just waiting for the next game. Well, that's how we should take ministry, too, is, man, it's just about the next day. But how do we know that? Well, to find that win, that meaningful moment, you know, but did I have that meaningful moment with that student? Is how they can evaluate and to know what it is. Um, it, you know, we tell our small group leaders, man, it's not about the content, right? Like, I know we spent time writing the content, writing the material, uh, but it's not about the content, right? It's about having that meaningful moment with the student. Uh, you know, there was times where, you know, leaders would be, you know, in the in the lobby and like, oh, I'm so sorry. Like, you know, so-and-so didn't make it into the service tonight. We were talking about it because their mom had these issues. I was like, man, that is awesome. 
that is a win. The goal wasn't for them to attend and just sit in the service and, and you know, make me feel better because there was more people in the room. But, man, you had a meaningful moment that student will remember for the rest of their life. That was a huge, huge win, right? Kids ministry security, right? you've got that guy who's guarding the door. Obviously, he's got to make sure the kids are safe. But I'm just telling you, a high-capacity leader is probably not going to stay for very long. If all he's doing is holding up the back wall to make sure that it doesn't fall down, right? So did they have a meaningful moment with a kid, with one of the parents as they're checking in? Did they have a meaningful moment with them? Um, you know, hopefully that was helpful. I know we all need more volunteers. Volunteer um, recruitment, retention is always a huge issue for everybody. And so hopefully that was helpful for you today. I would love for you to leave comments below. What are you doing? Um, how do you define a win for your volunteers? How do you win, uh, define it for them? Um, how do you celebrate those? Um, what, what are you doing to help your volunteers stay encouraged, stay motivated, stay in the game? Uh, you know, again, like watching the World Cup, you know, it, it, we're on the edge of our seats because it's, it's you know, man, winning, then they scored. Oh, man, it looks like they're, they're about to score, right, because there's a clear win. There's a clear loss. There's out of bounds. There's rules. There's penalties. All these things, and so I think we can take some of that into our ministry and say, okay, not just what is the big win for our ministry. You know, we're we're you know getting people saved, all kinds of, but we need to break that down even smaller for our volunteers because oftentimes they just don't feel like they're a part of that. Like I didn't preach. I didn't lead the altar call. I Man, I just was an usher. Or I just. Right, but no, 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 no. Did you have a meaningful moment? Did you have a, a meaningful interaction with somebody? So that's how I've defined it uh, so often. Uh, how, I'd love to hear uh, how you've defined it for yourself, for your ministry, for your volunteers. Um, love to, to, to hear about that. So feel free to leave a comment. How have you defined the win, your ministry, and what are you doing to help your volunteers to know when they're leading? Thanks so much. We'll look forward to seeing you guys soon.